What's going on, NASCAR fans? NASCAR Diecast fans. I am back with another NASCAR Diecast review. This time on the number two Brad Keselowski Keystone Miller Lite. Keystone. No, I don't know why I said Miller Lite. This is not a Miller Lite Diecast. See Brad Keselowski Keystone Lite 2021 Mustang. It's not Miller Lite. A limited edition adult collectibles. I will show you why. Um, this is a, oh, writing is way up. I will show you why this is a adult collectible. But it can also be whatever you want. It can be, you need to take it off. So, I'll show you what I mean. The box is uh, really hard to open sometimes. Keystone Light Brad Keselowski. This car was ran at the Charlotte race. The Cook 600 at Charlotte. If this car will ever come out. Dang. Package. Come on, buddy. There we go. So, right off the bat, you can see why the car is, says meant for adult collectible. So on the hood, Keystone Light, Pennzoil. And dang, the lighting is so bad. On the front, Mustang. Take a look at the side. NASCAR Cup Series. Uh, that is support our troops tire. I really like the mountains out in the background. Not as detailed as the bush. Um, the bush cars definitely not. Yeah, you know, you know, um. Lighting freaking sucks. Everything's all blurry. Wabash. Discount tire. Yeah, I don't know why everything's all blurry. Keystone light, snap on. Auto Trader. Here is the back. Keystone Light Ford. Worth. The lighting just sucks. There we are. I think I fixed it. Possibly. Did I? I probably... Fixed it. I don't know. Lighting's just off. Keystone light. More mountains in the back. Ford. Another Mustang I'm reviewing. Ain't that wonderful? Uh, I've been reviewing a ton of Mustangs lately. A really cool car. Needless to say, uh, the this is SSG Miles. Um, that is one of the troops. Sergeant Miles. Army, something like that. I don't know who he is honoring. Brakazowski name is somewhat crooked there. One win, which is is a 20... 21 car, I believe. Check the box over there. Yeah, that's 2021, yeah. And this is a 2021 die cast. Keystone, Snap-on, Freightliner, Discount Tire, Wabash. I don't know what Wabash is. Oh, I know. He's got a car. That's Wabash. 
uh, Keystone, uh, when Miller Lite dropped out of NASCAR, Keystone took the place of Miller, Miller Lite. Which, is that a good thing? I don't know. Um, still, in my opinion, the Bush cars are better. I don't drink beer, but... And the Bush paint schemes are a lot better. A lot better design than just this. This is like basic mods. Like, what is this? Like, compared to the um, Bush diecast, it's not as good. Uh, I prefer a Bush car over this because of how much detail they're at, they actually put in but this car was ran once which was like Coca Cola 600 I don't no he did not win Kyle Larson won that race spoilers forward on the windshield a little paint chip looks like there on the windshield I think two major other little sponsors I can hardly see the white on this is a little higher than usual American ethanol logo very cool right, I'm going to turn the brightness up some so you can somewhat see the, um, no, you still can't see it. Uh, is it too dark or what? No, no, it's hard to tell that there's a rear view camera there. This car definitely probably worth getting. I like it. Got a haul on it. Uh, the back windshield is loose. It's a hit or miss with these die casts. Uh, you get loose windshields some of, in some of them. White tires as well, white rims, I should say. You might be asking, why are most cars with black tires? But you see the two, 12, the 2, sometimes the 21 car, like a handful of times. You mainly see the 2, 22, and 12. Why are the rims the color that they are? Well, from what I heard from NASCAR and from Team Penske, yeah, a little history in rooms, <laughs> um, brake dust. Let's see how much brake dust is being built up. As the brake dust comes out, you can see it on the tire, on the rim, and which helps monitor how much brake he is using. So, yeah, brake dust, keystone light, love the little, whoa. Hey yo, get back here, buddy. Um, little circle there. Keystone. Oh, Keystone is actually a canyon. Lord Stone right there is a can. Okay, I mean that's kind of cool. I was not expecting that from this diecast. They do put effort into, well, like with um, what's going on? Oh, that's dog here. Sorry. Um. Well, Budweiser does, not Budweiser, Bush does, in my opinion, has better paint schemes than Keystone and the light, but, you know, they're trying. With the can right there, they are trying. But, you know, this is basic design off of Bush. I'm not saying this car is better than Bush or any of that. This car is still good. Ran out Charlotte. I like it. Not as good as Bush paint schemes. Not if you like Brad Keselowski and you're a big diecast collector, go pick this one up. If you like Brad, you pick this car up. Do yourself a favor. If you like Harvick, pick his car up. You can do whatever you want. If you like Harvick, but you like this car, pick up the two. I am a huge Dale Jr. fan, but I collect so many diecast for reviews. It's not even funny. I like every type of diecast I can get my hands on. Every driver, every scheme. Hope you guys enjoyed this um, 
Keystone Merlite Ford Mustang diecast review. And I got more diecast reviews coming. Like 70 plus cars. Maybe around 80 cars I have for reviews. Hope you guys enjoyed. Now I'll be back with more NASCAR diecast reviews. And before I go, watch my video on how to get the base off of a die cast. I've done a review, a video on that. Shows you how I get the stand off the car. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Now, more NASCAR die cast reviews.